The overall goal of this procedure is to visualize and quantify bacterial surface motility, called swarming, in a standard and reproducible manner. This is accomplished by first preparing and curing the surface motility plates. The second step is to inoculate the surface motility assay plates with bacteria and incubate these plates in a controlled environment. Next, the patterns of bacterial growth on the plate assays are imaged in real time. The final step of the procedure is to process the images for quantification. Ultimately, this procedure provides a standardized protocol for surface motility plate assay preparation to generate quantitative dynamic information such as swarm expansion rate or bioproduct density distribution for surface modal bacteria. Many groups perform surface motility assays. The main advantage of this technique is we provide a systematic protocol that minimizes the multiple variables that can lead to inconsistency. This method can help answer key questions in the field of bacterial surface motility, such as how bacteria colonize different types of surfaces. Though this method can provide insight into Pseudomonas swarming motility, with some modifications it can also be applied to study other surface modal bacteria. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because small changes in protocol or laboratory environment can greatly influence swarm assay results. Demonstrating the procedure will be Morgan, a graduate student from my laboratory. To begin the protocol, prepare an agar mix by combining 200 milliliters of FAB ammonium sulfate swarm medium, 0.9 grams of noble agar,